LeBron James is involved in an on-court scuffle. Kyle Rittenhouse speaks out for the first time following the not guilty verdict. And shocking statements are being made by the defense attorney of the men who are on trial for killing Ahmaud Arbery. What's going on, socialites? I'm Alexis Joy with Hollywood Unlocked, and this is What's Trending. LeBron James and Isaiah Stewart definitely gave Lakers and Pistons fans a little more of a show than just a ball game. Now, during a free throw shot with 9 minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the third quarter, James and Stewart were tussling for a rebound ball when James seemingly hit Stewart in the eye on accident, causing an all-out brawl. Now, as you can see in the video, the two confronted each other, which later led to both teams, players, and coaches getting involved. Now. Now, this is ridiculous. Following this, both players were ejected, making this only the second time that LeBron James has experienced an ejection in his 19-year NBA history. Following the game, neither LeBron nor Stewart did the post-game interview, but people like Anthony Davis spoke up for LeBron, saying his on-court character is nothing like this. You know, everyone in the league knows LeBron not a dirty guy. That's nearly hit him as soon as he did it. He looked back at him and told him, oh, my bad, I didn't try to do it. Now, many also saw the freeze frames of Russell Westbrook squaring up and ready to go, which actually caught him a technical foul that he didn't realize he received until the post-game interview. I got a tech? Oh, wow. Why'd I get a tech? I didn't know how to tech. <laughs> Now, mind you, this incident took place nearly 17 years after the brawl between the Pistons and the Pacers, famously known as Malice at the Palace, so it's starting to look like this was round two for one of the biggest brawls in NBA history. Many are still shocked at the not guilty verdict in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, and since his acquittal, he's had his first sit-down interview. Appearing on Fox's Tucker Carlson tonight, Kyle is speaking out saying that his case had nothing to do with race while also bringing up his thoughts on Black Lives Matter. This case has nothing to do with race. Um, it never had anything to do with race. It had to do with the right to self-defense. I'm not a racist person. I support the BLM movement. I support peacefully demonstrating. Now, mind you, the shooting that he was on trial for took place during a Black Lives Matter protest following the unjust shooting of unarmed black man Jacob Blake, where Kyle claimed to be working alongside the police rather than showing his support for Black Lives Matter, like he said in his post-acquittal interview. Now, Kyle was found not guilty on all five counts he faced, including intentional homicide, after defense attorneys argued that his actions were self-defense when he killed Joseph Rittenbaum and Anthony Hubbard. Now, the full interview is set to air the evening of November 22nd. Closing out some of today's top trending stories are shocking details coming from the mouths of Greg McMichael's lawyer in the case against him killing Ahmaud Arbery. Now, the trial against Greg McMichael, Travis McMichael, and William Bryan again in the killing of Ahmaud Arbery has reached its closing arguments, and some details coming from the defense attorney Laura Hogue will shock you. Greg McMichael's attorney took to the stands to suggest that Aubrey was partially to blame for his death, despite evidence proving that Aubrey had absolutely nothing to do with the alleged burglaries in the area, claiming that Ahmaud was not an innocent victim. She went on to claim that Aubrey was a recurring nighttime intruder, insinuating that had he not gone for the run, he would still be alive. But that's not the most shocking statements that were made by her. She broke down what Ahmad was wearing during this run in a very demeaning way. In his khaki shorts with no socks to cover his long, dirty toenails. Now mind you, her closing testimony had many feeling like this was a case against Ahmad, which is not the situation at all. The McMichaels and Brian have been charged with nine criminal counts, including felony murder, as the three men are accused of using their pickup trucks to chase down and gun down Ahmad Arbery, shooting him with a shotgun. As the trial comes to a close, we will be sure to keep you up to date on the final deliberation. While socialized, those are just some of today's top trending stories. You can head over to HollywoodUnlocked.com for those and so many more. While you're there, make sure you like us on Facebook, you're following us on Instagram, and you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Alexis Joy, and that's What's Trending.